Uh, Jean-Julien, uh, uh, many congratulations. A tough match uh, against Pierre Hugues and Nick Lamou? Yeah, it was a difficult match. Uh, we lost against the French pair in the uh, US Open in the quarterfinals, so it's nice to get, uh, to get our revenge here. We, uh, we knew it was going to be a difficult match. Pressure was on them. They had to win to uh, pass the group. Uh, we were already qualified in the semi, so uh, we were able to go out there and be more relaxed and just swing, and uh, we were happy we managed to win in two sets. How aware were you at the beginning of the day of the various qualification scenarios in this group? No, we, uh, we actually we weren't even looking at that, but uh, we had some friends and, and people from the outside that were giving us the different scenarios. But we, uh, we were just paying attention to this one match. We knew it was a difficult match against uh, tough opponents. And uh, like Horia said, they, they beat us in the US Open, so we kind of wanted to, to give a good effort uh, back against them now. And uh, yeah, just very happy to get through uh, to this match and be in the semifinals uh, tomorrow. And a huge semifinal then against the Bryan brothers, and that could put you en route to taking over their year and world number one spot. Yeah, it depends how you look at it, because I think right now we're number one, if I'm not mistaken, so they're threatening yeah. our number one spot. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. tough match uh, for sure, and, uh, and a great matchup, a great storyline as well. And, and these are the kind of matches you want to play with a lot riding on the line, and uh, uh, we, we really look forward to it. And how much would it mean to end the year as world number ones? That ah, would be another, uh, another dream that we have. Uh, uh, we won our first Grand Slam together this year, and uh, after winning that Slam, we uh, got close to being number one, and uh, it would be great to finish number one.